From prevention measures when it comes to the coronavirus, now to the technology advancements that are helping in this fight. Earlier this afternoon, I spoke with a software developer from Texas who is helping health care providers with monitoring and reporting. Das Noble is the founder and CEO at MTX Group. Now, his company is providing U.S. government agencies with real-time insights in predicting at-risk communities, disease growth rates, and monitoring the outbreak. Das, let's kind of talk about exactly how you're doing that and the technology that you implemented just recently. Absolutely. So, New York State Department of Health came to MTX and they were looking for something very rapidly that would allow them to monitor some of the travelers from China. Since then, the scope has expanded. Uh, the way that technology works is that once we have the list of travelers or contact information within the systems, uh, there will be requests for consent. When the consent is given, then on a daily basis up to 14 days, the specific contacts will get a text message, and there will be simple questions whether they're feeling ill or do they have any kind of symptoms? So based on the answer they provide, the, the local health departments and New York State Department of Health will get um, in contact with the folks and provide them assistance as needed. And that's part of the, the monitoring activities that happen within the application. And Das, that is pretty incredible. And I have to imagine that your services or services like it must be in pretty high demand right now because people not wanting to come in direct contact with those who may have been exposed to the coronavirus. Uh, we're looking at different digital ways. So are you, are you hearing from a lot of different agencies? Yeah, so right now we're about talking to 30 plus state agencies um, in terms of how we can rapidly deploy our solutions. Um, and so it is, obviously there's a lot of unknowns with this specific disease. Um, what I'm very pleased to see and hear that that many of these state agencies, they're looking to prepare themselves for the worst case, um, which is encouraging. I think that's going to benefit us um, you know, down the road. Um, so we are involved with um, across the nation with many agencies. Have you talked to anybody from Minnesota? Has Minnesota, is there anything unique about our state? Because as I'm trying to uh, see where your technology would fit in with how we're doing things here, has anybody even reached out to you? Um, I know that, that our Google partners, they are reaching out to all the states. Um, I don't have any specific information whether we're in conversation with Minnesota. Um, if we haven't, I am sure we will in the next few days. Um, now, you talked about is there any uniqueness with Minnesota. There is no uniqueness with uh, Minnesota. I think one thing to keep in mind is that while you may have low number of cases that are confirmed, um, you know, something to think about is that as the, the, the testing increases, uh, the, the number of uh, con confirmed cases is going to significantly increase over time. Um, right now, it's just that the number seems low across all the states because a number, of, a number of reasons. One, you know, we may have the symptoms up to 14 days. We may not even know that we have it, right? So obviously, that will make it um, a difficult for us to uh, have the proper count. And then as the different counties, local health department gets better at testing, I think eventually well, the number is going to spike uh, eventually. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at. And I don't think Minnesota is any different than what we're seeing. Um, you know, Minnesota was exactly where it is, where New York was about two weeks ago. So yeah. now New York declared a state of emergency. And um, at, so hopefully the number is not going to get worse, but I do believe the number is going to spike. Uh, where is your technology, um, how is it developing? So right now you're helping with uh, text messages and, and tracking symptoms and getting that information to these various health departments. What else is coming down the road for you? Technology continues to advance very quickly and with something like this, the need to have the latest and greatest um, is out there. Sure, absolutely. So we built it within Google Cloud Platform, and um, it, initially it was enabled for the CDC and the airports to be able to do the intake process for the patients. New York State has been expanding that functionality um, with regards to being able to track and monitor any physicians that are serving any of the patients with symptoms or anybody that is coming in close contacts with uh, anybody with the symptoms. So it could be 
folks at the school or workplace. Um, so we are looking to really enable um, these organizations so they can track that. So I like to talk about, we like to drink our own champagne. So we are rolling out that application internally within our organization. The reason is um, our HR team is overwhelmed in the way they're tracking a lot of questions that are coming up. And people obviously are fearful, right, when they come to the office. Um, we are gonna track and ask folks if they have any kind of symptoms and proactively um, advise them to stay home so it does not put everybody at risk. Now, that's the immediate benefit that any corporation can take advantage of that. We're taking it to the next level, and that is that this application should not be just for coronavirus. If you look at any flu or any other pandemics that breaks out over the course of a year, and most state goes through about two to three pandemics in a given year, maybe not as large as the coronavirus. However, most agencies do not have a sophisticated application to track and have better intelligence in terms of how to mobilize resources. So this is going to help them in the long run. Well, Das, what you are doing and the service that you're providing is really incredible. So I appreciate your time and thanks for talking about this. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.